Hey there guys, so in today's video I'll go over correcting your white balance and uh, how to remove uh, gradients from your images. Okay, so usually when you first see images uh, taken with a modified uh, camera, uh, they can be a little bit uh, terrifying because all of them have a heavy red tinted uh, color cast to it and then you are starting to introduce some uh, light pollution filters which uh, can make the situation even worse so you might end up with a heavy magenta looking image or green blue that depends totally on the type of filter you're using and um, if you have a different brand but uh, as long as you're shooting uh, raw images this can usually be uh, fixed uh, very easily so yeah this video is more aimed uh, towards the beginners but uh, okay i will stop talking and let's just uh, jump into photoshop okay so a while ago i got actually a question uh, why can you just uh, correct uh, your white balance with uh, levels and curves and the problem is that you are not actually trying to remove any of those colors it's just that uh, as the name suggests it's about balancing your colors and the easiest and quickest way is still i think in uh, the photoshop uh, rock editor so here i got my stacked image uh, imported uh, from the m106 galaxy which uh, i shot uh, last uh, week and before we go into correcting the white balance let me just show you a trick so let's go to image adjustment and equalize and here you can see it stretches your image uh, to maximum so uh, here you can see uh, where you need to crop away uh, your image and if you still have some uh, dust spot which i have plenty here but yeah i use this uh, just to check my image and uh, as soon as i know uh, what i need to fix i just hit ctrl and z to go back now i'll crop my image I'll crop it quite a lot so I can go over this quickly I'll just hit okay and now if you want to enter the raw editor you just go to filter and select camera raw filter or you just hit shift ctrl and a now just select the white balance tool make sure that you find a spot in the image where there isn't any stars and if you see that uh, one of the colors is pushed uh, all the way to the end but uh, your white balance is uh, still not uh, correct uh, just hit ok here and i just basically repeat the process so again shift ctrl and a to go back and just select the white balance tool again find a spot without stars and now you can see we got the pretty neutral image but we can check it if we increase the vibrance and saturation here if you are not happy you can try to uh, adjust it a little bit manually but I think that Photoshop did uh, quite a good job so so I'll leave it and don't forget to reset your vibrance and saturation I think that the white balance is done so I'll hit OK and I think that that's about it for correcting your white balance uh, like I said for me this is the easiest uh, and the best solution that you basically have and the next thing that I'm going to go over is uh, to flattening your background but first let me just set the levels a bit okay so this is fine so we can see what's going on hit ok here you can see that despite I've added my flat frames uh, on the edges I still have an ugly magenta color cast but we can fix all of this quite easily now first I will duplicate this layer and hit ctrl C to copy it Control M to make a new document, hit enter, Control V to paste it in. I'm just going to flatten this out. Now the next thing that we need to do is go to the spot healing brush tool and get uh, rid of all the galaxies that we have in the image. So I'll increase the brush size a bit, make sure that it's set to zero hardness. And I'll probably speed up the video a bit here. Also try to get rid of the biggest and the brightest stars. Okay, so I think that this will work. Now the next thing we need to go to filter, noise dust and scratches here make sure that the threshold is set to zero the radius I will first try with 30 and I still see some spots so I'll increase it a bit let's say 40 
so I think that 50 will work yeah I think that 50 works for me but uh, your value might different here just make sure that the gradients is smoothed out now hit OK let's go back to our original image here let's go to image apply image set the blending mode to subtract the scale you should leave at 1 offset works around 30 usually opacity 100 now for the source we will select the united one and again hit ok and yeah there you go you got a pretty flat uh, background let's see the before and after so this is with what we started and yeah from here you can do your normal processing so for example let's go to image adjustment and levels you can see that the background is uh, really flat but yeah, I think that this technique works uh, almost the best on uh, those type of images. But for the nebulae that stretch uh, all across the image, uh, I would probably still recommend you to get, uh, let me check here, either Astro Flat Pro, which I already covered in a previous video, or the RC Astro Gradient Exterminator. And again, I think it's not that expensive, so you might go and check it out. But I'm going to hit cancel here. So I really hope that this is a short video and uh, that will help you a bit. If you have any suggestions, questions or things that you want me to go over in uh, one of the future videos, then please uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I think that that's about it for this video. And uh, I would like to thank you for watching and see you again next time. Take care. Bye.